Welcome to the Friday Night Frenzy alongside Erica Curtitis. I'm Andrew Pogar. With the weather outside, it feels like we should be talking some football, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's still only February. Ten highlights on tap this evening. We start our show with two teams in the NCC with identical conference records, Harrison and Marion. Yeah, the 4-4 four four Raiders welcoming the 4-4 four four Titans to May Gymnasium this evening. Similar to their records, both teams trying to win a second straight game. That's right. Harrison head coach Mark Reinhardt, he's sporting the Hoops for Hope t-shirt. The funds helping grant the wish for a Make-A-Wish candidate from the community. Second half, Jacqueline Thomas, a four-point play for the freshman 34-31 Harrison. The Raiders responding. That's Jack Matthew on the basket cut for two. 36-31 the score. The Giants living and dying from behind the arc. Tim Level's three ball is good. It's a two-point ball game, but Benito Munoz says anything you can do, I can do better. Munoz, nothing but the bottom of the net. Coach Reinhardt, oh, me likey. We're not done with Munoz. Off the dribble drive, the junior drilling another triple. Harrison crushing Marion 80-58. Coach Peck and Paws Mavericks make the trek to Muncie Central tonight, and it would be a sluggish start for McCutcheon. After getting down 7 to nothing, the ball bounces out to Robert Finnessy, who finishes high off the glass for the and one to put McCutcheon on the board. Later, the Mavs start heating up as Rowan Farrell drains a three ball from the corner pocket to give McCutcheon the lead. Then guard Eddie Collins takes matters into his own hands as he pops a three in the defender's eye, causing a Muncie Central timeout. But McCutcheon wasn't getting started as a wide open Gavin Dunbar makes the Bearcats pay. And just before the end of the quarter, McCutcheon runs the out of bounds play to Collins in the corner. You can't give him that much space. McCutcheon pulls away to beat Muncie Central 75 to 69. Meanwhile, at the Berry Bowl, NCC champion Logansport facing Arsenal Tech in the first. Matt Jennings tickling the twine with the finger roll 13 to 10 Logansport. Final seconds of the quarter, Will Penny. Here's three pennies for your thoughts. 23-19 in favor of the Berries. Put the baby to bed. This one is over. No, wrong. Great ball movement on display by the Titans leading to this. Antonio White from downtown Indy. Arsenal take down by just two, but the Berries are number one in their conference for a reason, and here's why. Jalen Attaway, another Jalen dunk. Every Friday, it seems like we're saying that. Logansport holds on to beat Tech in double overtime, 96-84. Now Lafayette Jeff traveled to Richmond tonight despite some weak defense and multiple turnovers. The Broncos were able to pull off the W 87 to 52. Okay, West Lafayette visiting Hamilton Heights this evening. First quarter action came Lutz on the backdoor cut for Heights and the Huskies lead by a pair early on. West Lafayette gets going courtesy of Mr. Charlie Nyes. The seniors three pointer is good from the corner, but later the Huskies they're in transition. Max Wall pulls up and drains it. Nothing but the bottom of the net there. But Nyes is tough early. He gets a tough shot to go in the lane. But Hamilton Heights downs West Lafayette 72-48. to The Central Catholic Knights traveled over to Lewis Cass to take on the Kings in the Hoosier Conference playoffs. Ben Tharp gets the scoring started with the deep three-pointer here. CC wouldn't look back from there. Carson Barrett gets the rock from his buddy Thomas Gothard, and Barrett puts up the tough jumper from three feet out to extend the Kings lead. Avery Denhart picks the Kings pocket and brings this one all the way back to the hoop to put CeCe up by seven early. Lewis Cass just couldn't find the hole early on. Tharp with the outlet pass to Avery Denhart, and Denhart once again lays it in for the Knights. Now, no, this isn't a replay. Another outlet pass to Denhart here, this time from Carson Barrett and Avery Denhart with the jump top basket to put the Knights on top 11-0 in the first. Denhart and the Knights dethrone the Kings 59-43. Okay, that does it for the first half of the Francie. Five highlights down, still five more to go. Coming up, we'll make stops at Western, Delphi, Clinton Prairie. And Northwestern. Twin Lakes looking to capture the Hoosier Conference Tournament Championship. We'll tell you how the Indians did against the Tigers when the Frenzy continues after the break. <laughs> 